from Happy Indulgence and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going through my TBR for the Superhero Rothon and here's the books that I've picked out which I shall go through one by one. So before I get started, the challenge is hosted by Beck at Bex and Books and Grace at G Swizzle Books and I'll link to their channels and more about the superhero athon down below. There's 10 challenges and it will go for a two week period from the 25th of March to the 8th of April. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting through it. Uh, what I've actually done in this TBR is I'm not going to get through 10 books in two weeks. I usually read 10 books a month. So I'm going to be doing doubling up on challenges challenges and trying to read books that meet multiple challenges just so I can still participate and join in the fun. So let's just get started with the books that I picked. So the first challenge is Iron Man. Read a book that's an oldie but a goodie, not released in 2017 or 2018. So for Iron Man, I've selected A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab and this was actually released in 2015. This is a special collector's edition so you'll notice it has a different cover and it has some beautiful fan art and some lettering and I'm actually buddy reading this with a friend of mine at Fanatical Fantasy and I'll also make sure her channel is linked down below but we plan on reading this and discussing it together on YouTube. The next challenge is Captain America. Read a book that represents your country. So for this one I picked Small Spaces by Sarah Epstein and that's because it's a psychological thriller and I've been really looking forward to reading this Aussie YA book. Basically it's about a girl that has an imaginary friend but when some traumatic memories resurface her imaginary friend comes back and it's actually super creepy. I've already started reading it. This is also the book that I have to read for Oz YA on ABC Radio which I co-host each month month and um, so I'm really looking forward to reading this and it's blurred by Fleur Ferris and Ellie Marnie so I know it's going to be fantastic. The next challenge is Captain Marvel. Read a new release that has grabbed your attention. For this one I picked To Kill a Kingdom by Ali Christo and I picked this one because it's written by a blogger friend of mine when she back when she used to blog and I've only heard good things about it. It's like a Little Mermaid retelling but a really dark version of it. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I think it releases in March 2018 as well so it should be out on the shelves in Australia as well. The next challenge is Ant-Man. Read a tiny book that packs a punch whether that's a short story, novella or graphic novel. So I have the perfect book for this and that is none other by Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shona McGuire and this is the third companion book in the Wayward Children series. The first one is Every Heart the Doorway and the second one is Down Among the Sticks and Bones. So I really I really enjoyed those first two books. They're small books that really do pack a punch. Each of the books follow different kids that you meet from every harder doorway and this one is about a girl called Rini. Her mother has died before she was conceived and uh, she has an entire world to save so maybe this one is more contemporary based but I'm really looking forward to reading it. The next challenge is Hulk Smash. Read an intimidating book on your TBR that you want to smash out. So, you've probably heard me talk about this since December last year, but that is Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. Look how intimidating it is. That is a massive book. It is 584 pages. Oh my gosh, I have wanted to read this for ages, but never got around to it. I got it back in January, still haven't read it for good reason because it's intimidating AF. And I mean, look how huge it is. I'm really looking forward to reading Iron Gold because I love the Red Rising series. This is the start of a new saga, obviously with Darrow at the helm as well. So, I mean, I can't wait to read it, but I'm a bit iffy about reading it as part of a two week reader a thon. I mean, before you know it, this might be the only book I tackle, but if it is, I'll still be happy. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not too confident, but I hope I do pick it up soon. The next challenge is Black Panther. Read a book with a person of color as the main character. My pick for this one is The Astonishing Color of After, and that is by Emily XR Pan. This was on my March TBR, which I'll link up above anyway. It's about a girl who has lost her mother and then she goes back to Taiwan to meet her grandparents and learn a bit more about heritage. It's about art, it's about her having feelings for her best friend and also about dealing with 
feelings of loss and I know it's a bit of a magical realism as well. I really need to prepare myself for this book because I've heard that everyone who has read it have cried when they've read it. I don't know if I can still go through that this month especially after reading Obsidio but we shall see. I'm really looking forward to reading it. Okay so I'm going to tackle the next two challenges with the same book. And that is Thor, read a book set in a different world and Black Widow, read a book with a kick-ass female character. My pick for that one is Dracora by Lynette Noni and this is the third book in the Midoran Chronicles series. I've just started reading this weekend and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's about a girl called Alex who stumbles upon the world of Midora and she trains in the Akane Academy because she learns that she has powers and she gets hunted by this evil villain guy called Avon and basically Dracora is the third book where she's looking at saving one of her friends that was kidnapped by Avon. So far she had to participate in a Midorian warrior trial and it was really interesting but now she's being whisked away by dracons or dragons and it's actually super fascinating. I really can't wait to see where the rest of this book goes. Alex is definitely a kick-ass character and obviously it's set in a different world as well. I've heard from a lot of people that this is their favourite book in the series so far so I can't wait to see what that's like. The next challenge is what would Stan Lee do? Read a Marvel comic. Now this is one that I am actually going to cheat on and I'm sorry in advance because I don't actually own any Marvel comics. I looked at all my graphic novels and it looks like I mainly own image comics so I'm just going to read one off my shelf because while I do enjoy some Marvel reads like the Miss Marvel series I'm not going to run out just to buy one for this challenge. So what I picked is Rat Queens Volume 2 and this is also my pick for the next one which is the Avengers read a book with squad goals because it features a bunch of really diverse and kick-ass female warriors and sorcerers and shamans. I read the first Rat Queen's graphic novel and I really enjoyed that one because it was just so snarky, it was fun, it was really tongue-in-cheek as well and really feminist. Here are all the books that I'm going to read as part of the Superhero-a-thon. I don't know how I'll go but most of them were on my TBR anyway. I'm looking forward to participating in this challenge. So that's all I've got for you guys today but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. If you're participating in the superhero athon as well please leave a comment down below and I look forward to chatting to you guys soon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!